What is going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Mr. Leva and welcome to Yes Your Grace. I'm not 100% sure what it is, I'm just assuming by the title alone that I'm probably the king and or queen and so far this game looks beautiful. Look at this amazing like 8-bit, 16-bit art. It looks beautiful. Uh, yes Your Grace is a game of tough choices. It will be impossible to satisfy the needs of Every petitioner, of course, of course. Sometimes your subjects will have a spiteful intention, and sometimes life will get in the way. If you simply have enough resources at the end of each, uh, at the end of each week, well, that's good enough. Click on the petitioner to call them forward. Audrey, hello. It is time, Your Grace. Click on the throne to step down. I had better put on the crown. Explore the room for items of interest. You can find your inventory in the lower left corner. Select an item to interact with it. Crown of the King of Davern. It gets, it's getting a bit rusty. Wear it. Okay. Uh, this is the map of your castle. Click the castle wall to begin. Castle wall. A deserter. Found one of ours hiding in a shed. Shed? Why would you do this, Sobic? There's too many of them. We have no chance of winning. If you let him off, the rest may follow. However, our army is sparse as it is. We need every set of hands to hold the sword, Your Grace. There's no place for cowards under my banner. Kill him. Even at least the least brave soldiers are essential now. Spare. Kill him. It's just one dude. Anyone who refuses to stand for Davern will be met with justice. A shame. You did what you had to, Your Grace. Yeah, no, he's right. If other people started to follow, we have way more problems. Oh my god. Put up a white flag. Archers! For Davern! Oh! This is not what I was expecting this game at all. Oh, yes, Your Grace. Oh, that was just the intro? One year earlier. Okay. Grevno, week one. The petitioners will start queuing in a moment, Your Grace. We really need to shorten the visiting hours. A relay. Alrighty. Can you go and speak to Lorsulia, my dear? I've tried talking to her, but she won't respond. I don't know what's gotten into her recently. Maybe she will open to you a bit more. She probably is wandering about of the wall. Of course, my sweetest. Dungeon God, your grace. I bring bad news. The recent rains have soaked through our roofs. The pantry roof has collapsed, as well as some walls of our dungeon. Only one cell is currently functional. We should really fix those things before they get worse, otherwise we'll keep losing supplies. You will see the required fixes in your weekly summary at the end of the week. When you meet people and talk to petitioners, your advisor may make a note about the encounter in your archives. You can see all entries in the archives button below. Okay. Uh, the people's need flood damaged. Okay. A peasant. Hello, sir. Your grace, my daughter's wedding is at hand. Congratulations. The problem is, we don't have enough gold or supplies to make a worthy feast. What will my daughters-in-law think of our family? We want to hire a band to buy some fancy wine on the market. We only need five gold and five supplies. Five gold, five supplies. I'm guessing that's our gold supplies. Soldiers and how happy. And five gold, five silver. You can't have a marriage, with marriage without music and something to kill the thirst. Oh yes, the thirst is the worst. We will show these peasants what real feasts look like. Ha <laughs> ha. You're also a peasant. Entry completed. Helping with a wedding. A peasant asked for gold and supplies to fund his daughter's wedding. Eric decided to help the folks with the preparation. I did, I did, I did, I did. Thought I did. Hello, peasant! Your Grace, I come here representing my village. We want to ask you for the seven gold to help us gather tools and resources required to build an inn. We could really use a new place to rest after a long day's work. Take the gold. Build the end. Make it the best inn around. Oh, we sure will. Thank you, Your Grace. No problems. The river brings a lot of wildlife to the area. I enjoy the sounds of the birds chirping away each morning. Peasant! 
Monsters, ba beasts, dressed in black. They come in the night, unseen, unheard, until they arrive. They attack the village. We heard the dreadful screams of the slain. Your grace, I beg you, you must send your men. Check what happened. Find those responsible. Tell me more. Bright red head, short but sharp fangs. Hundreds of them, gleaming metal from their claws. We've never seen anything like it. My agents will check the village. The general should deal with these bandits easily. Thank you, your grace. Click on the glowing flower to advance the next week. Once you're ready, sometimes you will need to see your family members before you can advance. These fields used to be covered in forests. Our agriculture is thriving. Dusty! Is that the cat? Goodbye, daughter. No one cares. Pet the cat. Meow. Alright, Grevno. Week two. You look like a Rodovian soldier. You look oh my god, we have a lot of people. General, hello. Your grace, no sign of the monsters. We did stumble upon these bandits, though. They were pillaging the village. Redhead, sharp teeth. The crest of Rodovia. I thought you could only find them in a book and old manuscripts. Well, seems like we have one right here, too. Tell me. Whose banner are you bearing? Is it true you are from Radovia? Your man is right. Radovia is my home. And soon yours, too. Haha. -ha. Why are you here? What were you and your men doing near the village? We're just making a living. One man might call it plunder. I would call it hard work. Who's your leader? We are a free people. We don't bow to kings or lords. Bold words for someone trespassing in another country. Bold and stupid. I've heard enough. Your grace, we can't allow barbarians to stock our lands, plundering and killing innocent men and women. There's a question that justice needs to be dealt with with this one. Go back to where you came from and don't ever come back here again. Next time I won't be so generous. You might not be as foolish as I thought. I need to see Aurelia about this. What do you make of this, Audrey? Radovians? Here? How would they get through the mountains? Why would they threaten a war? There's a lot of questions, but I need answers, Audrey. Forgive me, Your Grace. I'm just puzzled. I might be reasonable to start thinking about renewing some old treaties. Talk to old friends and see who could give us a hand. With our current resources, a war would bring certain defeat. I will make some preparations. Thank you. Hello, daughter. Bring news, father. Azalea sneaked out sneaked out last week. I ran into her while she was going back to her chamber, all laughing and a little tipsy, I think. She wouldn't say where she had been, but Sidani, as thick as she is, spilled everything to me this morning. These Those two chit-chat all the time. They think I don't realize. Thick, don't speak of your little sister like that. What's gotten into you, Lord Julia? Azalea sneaks out, and st out to some wedding, gets all drunk, but I'm the bad one all of a sudden. I'd better talk to Azalea about this. You girls are do going to drive me crazy one day. Oh, went off to the wedding that I supported. Your Grace, my dear son is nowhere to be found. Yes, a really dafty little boy, but still he is my son. I ask that you find him, Your Grace. There's still a chance you could do so. We All we can offer is seven gold. Our general will be trying to find your son. Two weeks. I'm afraid I won't... Oh, yeah. Our general will find your son. He will ask around and see if he can track down your son. I hope he is still in one piece. My thanks, Your Grace. You're welcome. We'll find your son. Don't worry. Lord Eaton. My name is Lord Eton. I'm the Lord of Branchia, Your Grace. I will be as straightforward as possible. Someone has kidnapped my daughter, and they expect me to pay 12 gold to get her back. The thing is, I tracked them down, and I know where they are keeping her. I planned everything out, and I just need a general to back me up. Or I could just pay the ransom. Either way, I will need your help, Grace. I don't have my general. I don't have enough gold. I don't think there's enough general... If there's not, I'm sorry, I can't help. My general is occupied and my gold is running low. I wish the best luck getting you. And I wish you never find yourself in a similar situation. Keep your daughter safe, Your Grace. I will remember this. Bro, come on. No, I really couldn't help you. I'm sorry. Your Grace, I fear for my life. I think someone is trying to get me. What is going on? I think someone is following me. They want me dead. Who's they? I don't know. How would I know? I haven't done anything, right? I better be going. Who the fuck were you, bud? Alright, let's get out of here. Darling. A foreign barbarian visited us this week. Radovians have come to Davern. One of their bandits was brought to the castle. That can't be right. Do you think it's about our promise? It might be. What do you think? Thirteen years ago, we promised our unborn child ha child's hand to a thug. Bayran, wasn't it? Doesn't matter. After thirteen years, a Radovian shows up at your castle. I'll be damned. Yes, Lord Zulia will soon become a woman. We will need to find her a husband. And Bayran, the villain, will arrive to make me fulfill my promise. Oh, it's you. Azalea told me what's going on. Azalea told me that you might be feeling a bit down recently. I think your mother and I had started to figure it out. Anyway, I'm sorry we didn't realize it earlier. Oh, why is that? You won't have to marry a stranger. 
Tradition says a girl your age needs a husband, but I promise you won't have to marry a stranger. We will make sure we know the prince well before the wedding. Time will show. Goodbye. I'll check on you later. Sadly, we can't afford to fix the mark uh, the theater. I would like to, though. Pigeon! Dear Eric, we have crossed the mountains. We will come for what was promised, for the gods have graced us with their strength. So what do you have... So they do have a king after all, and where there's a king, an army follows. What promise are they babbling about anyway? To take my daughter's hand. How? You never mentioned it, your grace. I don't think I would have to keep my word. You can't let barbarians seize the throne. Our treasury is low, but we can always seek allies. I will let you get on with the audits, and I'll make some preparations in the meantime. I will be the council in the council chamber, your grace. All right, peasant. Your grace, injustice and hunger have struck the village. Men dressed in black came and took our stock. Hardly anything is left from giving to the dogs now. I wanted to kindly ask for seven pieces of gold or five sacks of supplies. Here is five sacks of supplies. Feed your children well. That will be enough to keep us going for a couple weeks. Gods favor you. <sighs> okay, merchant. I come with a business proposition, your grace. I need twelve gold to hire men to buy resources to build a tavern in Branca. You see, the tavern will serve as more than just a way for locals to get drunk. The village is really well positioned and it may... It has many visitors, but they never stay for long. The new tavern will change that, and will guarantee a steady income. It will share the profits once I start making money on the business. Sounds good. 18 solid tables, 13 beds. We could make a cheaper shared chamber. Okay, it's going to work well. Peasant. I have a business. I don't know if you guys can see that achievement, but cool. 10 Gs. Your grace, a disease is crawling in our village. It's nothing serious. I don't think, but fevers and sneezes are all over the place. It appears out of nowhere, as if a dark force brought it upon us. Take these supplies, seven supplies. I can't offer much, but here it is, five gold. Five supplies. I hope you think it'll be enough for you and your neighbors. Thank you. This is way more than we expected anyway. You have a good heart, your grace. Your grace, I appointed a scout. He will let us know what we're up against. Meanwhile, we should invite King Talis. He might be able to help. But first, I would suggest inviting Talis. Great. Talius should visit us within a week. With his army, we should be able to help repel Radovia, no matter what they come with. Thank you, Audrey. Grevno, week four. General. Your grace, I have found the son of the peasant. He was lost in nearby forest looking for home. He was weakened and thirsty, but should be back to full strength here soon. Sweet. Thank you much. King Talis. Hardly any light can get through these windows. These halls used to shine, Eric. Father, look what she did. Alice has put feces under my pillow. How can I ever wash it off? Why did you tell her I told on her? I didn't tell Azalea anything. Of course you did. Now she won't leave me alone. We'll deal with her later. Scuttle off now. If you can't even control your children, then I'm surprised you still sit where you do. And that I'm still standing where I am. Forgive me, we have had a lot of going on recently. I'm asking if you're going to make me stand here like a commoner. Of co oh, of course. Let's talk in the council room. Huh. You have a lot of books. What can be so important that you can't just send me a pigeon? I'll be straightforward with you with this. I need an army. Redovia has threatened me and my family. Yes, they... They're simple men. Untrained. Tell you what. I'll give you 3,000 soldiers. My army can deal with anything that they throw this way. What? Just like that? <laughs> of course not. You see, my son Evo has been crying and moaning to me about finding him a princess. He's always bothering me. It's about time he grew up. A wife could keep him busy, out of my way. Or Sulia would be good enough for him. She could teach him a thing or two. I always, ac ac I always want access to the fine collection of books you have here, plus anything else you can find. You still seek cures for your wife. Her condition hasn't improved. Well, that doesn't concern you. You get an army, I get Lord Zulia, and access to these books. So an army for a marriage in return. Yes, of course. You catch on quickly. I'll send my armies right away. I can't just let you take my daughter for a few hundred men. Come on now, Eric. We both know Davern has seen better times. When Radovia comes, who will protect your... Fr uh, are you going to order peasants to fight them with pitchforks? Cool. Awesome. I will send an army straight away, but I want immediate access to the archives. The marriage can be organized later. Let me get lost in books, then I will start anew from this room. Fine, you can find me in the throne room if you need me. Great. You have made a new ally. You can now try to make more allies by inviting lords and allies panel. 
Yeah, let's invite Lady Ada. Cool. Hello, Datoa, Lord Sulia. Oh, it's you. There's something I need to tell you. We had no choice. You must marry Evo, the Prince of Atana. It's... I'm sorry. What do you mean? Don't say I... We need this marriage to secure an army that will defend us. A war is coming. So I'm going to be sacrificed. Did you even consider any other options? Did you even try to offer something other than your daughter? I knew it. I knew the day I'm old enough you would just sell me to the highest bidder. You've been waiting for this. You can't wait to get rid of me, can you? I wish I was a common girl, living in a village, having nothing to worry about. Being able to marry the one I love, not some snob I've never met. Stupid wedding, stupid prince, you're stupid. Yeah, bro, that... That fucking blue, alright? But... The lives of our men and us, and you'd have been forced to marry some brute anyway. Ah, shit, dude. They really just throw you into this, like, haha, get fucked. You made mistakes long before you ever had control over your character. Let's head to the bedchamber, talk to our wife. Darling. Lord Sulia is getting married. What? No. Did Baron find us? We can't let him. Luzin will marry Evo, the Prince of Atana. I made a treaty with Talus. Marriage for army in return. No, we cannot let her marry a barbarian, Eric. You said you would find a way. Wait, Evo? That's... that's great. Evo is a prince, after all. And if Luzin is to marry Evo, then Baron can't do anything. Talia's army might simply scare them away. Oh, this is fantastic news, Eric. Wonderful. What's going to prepare for the wedding? Guests, menus, we need to decorate the throne room. We need to buy flowers and decorations, and we need a band, too. I'll take care of all that. We'll see how our treasury looks at the end of the week. Jeweler, does Lucilia know yet? She didn't take it well. But what does she know? She she wouldn't want to marry the barbaric baron. She knows the Roduvians do with their wives. Wouldn't surprise me if they cut them up and eat them. Eh? Give her time. She'll come around to the idea. All right, she's... I got my wife a lot happier now. We have way more men. Grevno, week five. General, what do you have to tell me? Radovians have formed stationary posts around your castle, your grace. Camps, if you like. They're planning their next moves. Destroying the post should damage their ability to form strategies, your grace. Although we now have a prospect of an army, we shouldn't give them any advantage. You should look, take a look at your map, grace. Send an, ad, an agent to clear out those posts as soon as possible. Wait on my mark, General. I will instruct you where to strike. Yes, Your Grace. Rodovian bandits have made camps around your castle. You need to send a general to eliminate the post. Click on the maps. Maps. Send the general by selecting a Rodovian post and clicking the magnifying glass icon. Exploring locations may result in gain of resources. In this case, we need to dispatch the to dispatch of the Rodovian post. You can send an agent to explore any location. Let's take out the post to the east. Alright. What do you have to say, Audrey? We will be ready for the wedding in four weeks, Your Grace. The Rodovian posts need to be eliminated by then. We still need to provide for the people's needs. Striking the right balance between the two might be tough, if not impossible. With our current resources, we'll need... Bullcrap. Alright. Lady Ada! Hello, hello. Your Grace, you called for me. I always forget how beautiful your castle is, Your Grace. I really should visit Grev no more often. Nevertheless, Your Grace, I have a favor to ask of you. Thank you. What can I do for you? There is a nefarious thief going from lord to lord pretending like he needs help. He convinces other nearby lords to give him gold, including me. He always says he's a merchant with goods that have been stolen. I'm sure he will visit you sooner or later. What do you want me to do? And I recognize him. Uh, all I ask of you is to imprison him. I don't want you to lose gold like I did. Or you... Once you have him in your dungeon, send a pigeon for me and I will deal with him. I'll keep an eye out for him. If I find him, I will send you as soon as possible. Thank you very much, Your Grace. Okay, and then that should give me 60 more men through her. Peasant! Your Grace, my son was found safe and sound. There are no words. Here's a little something. My wife has made you a cake. Strawberry one, I think. Thank you, Your Grace. Cool. Merchant! Your Grace, I have a ta the tavern you helped me to establish is up and running. I'm doing well. That is not just a stop between long trips. It's more of a destination on its own now. As promised, I will now start sharing my profits with you. A whole go one gold every week. That sounds fair, right? It does. Thank you. Oh, it does? Oh, I mean, great. Of course. Thanks. You're welcome, Your Grace. Yeah, no, dude. I'm cool with that. I'm not an asshole. It'll pay itself back. Uh, Sidani, what do you have to say? How can I help, Pumpkin? I'm worried about Lorsulia, Father. What happened to her when she leaves? She promised to, that she'd take care of me, but now she's leaving. Why would she lie? And what happens to Dusty? 
Lozulia wouldn't lie to you. Your sister didn't know she'd have to leave, Sedana. And as for Dusty, it's Lozulia's cat. She will probably want to take Dusty to keep her company. But if she didn't leave, then Dusty wouldn't have to go as well. I don't want her to leave. Can you talk to her? That's not exactly Losulia's choice. I'm sure she would prefer to stay. She would never leave you on purpose. Why does she do it then? If she would rather stay, she should. Can you talk to her? Convince her to stay. Of course, said Donnie. I can try convincing her, but I don't think it will change a thing. I knew I could count on you. Thank you. Better check on Losulia when there's time. Peasant man, hello. Your grace, they took our cattle. Monsters with steel came in the night and took everything. Sure, there's plenty of grass left now, but that's what's the good of it. There ain't no cattle to graze on. Can you help us, your grace? Take the five gold. There should be enough to get your village a new herd. That's even a bit more than we needed. Thank you, your grace. Any time. All right. Let's head out. We have to talk to our daughter. Hmm, Luru's not up there. Maybe Azalea knows where she is. Oh. Thing for the wedding is done. Grevno, week six. What do you have to say, Audrey? There's still time until the wedding. We should check out the Rodovian post where there, there's a chance, Your Grace. Map. Okay, so we took out the one to the east, so now we can't be flanked. The one to the west, I would like to clear out because it's the one that's closest. Well, I have no one to do this with. Okay. General, hello. No signs of Rodovians at the east post, Your Grace. There was nothing left behind. Okay. Now I should be able to send a general. Okay. Pietro. Your Grace, I think I know that they are after me. Who are you talking about? Yesterday, when I went to bed, someone was in my room. They moved the candle. They left They left them on the windowsill. I never leave them on the windowsill. Your Grace. Okay. I, I'm interested in this. How can I be of service to you, Grace? Tell me about our battle preparations. With Tally's army, we will crush the Rodovian forces. We just need to focus on your kingdom and get ready for the wedding, your grace. Alright. That's that's all. Oh my fucking god, the banker. That's it, dude. You can get out of here. Bye 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 bye. Bye 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 bye. Hello, wife. Have you seen Lucilia, darling? I think she's still locked up in her chamber. She refuses to come out. I think it's best to give her some time. I don't know what to do, darling. The wedding is so close. I want her to help me pick the flowers, but she won't talk to me. I suppose you're right, though. I'll get back to preparations. Of course, my sweetheart. She's probably snuck out, right? Your Grace, yet another village has been raided by Rodovian forces. Should we aid them in a the time of need? This could have great effect on our people's contentment, Your Grace. We can't allow Rodovians to threaten our land. We need to prepare for the final blow. Let's hope the Rodovians don't strike again. I'm sorry, we didn't have... These Pidgeotars bring so much mess into the throne room. Yeah, they do. Merchant, man, what do you have there, Merchant? Your Grace, I bring you a mixture of that can works most of the time. Cures almost anything. You won't find anything better for the five... No, thanks. I think I'll pass. Pass on such a fine product, but, but how can you know for sure you won't need it soon? Oh, well, I will peddle it elsewhere. Yeah, you fucking peddle your bullshit all over. Get away. What up, wife? Darling. The big day is in three weeks. I can't believe how fast time flies. Asulia doesn't really want to get involved with the wedding preparations, so everything's on my head. She'll be less upset if she understood what is the best option we have. Do you think we should tell her of the promise? No, Eric. How do you think she would react? She would hate us forever. For promise her before she was even born. She can never find anything about this. Save and continue. I would like to repair that theater, especially now that people have been pissed off at me. <sighs> Audrey, we're getting close to the wedding. We need to make sure that the road... Yes. No signs of the Rodovians at the West Post, Your Grace. We did find a hell of a mess, though. They left golden supplies behind. They must have gone on their way in a hurry. Thanks. Peasant. Your Grace, thanks to the new inn we've built, our workers are happier and work harder. We can now plow much faster. We still need to maintain the inn, but I want to bring you some extra for the help. We're contributing one gold every week to the kingdom. This is very generous. Thank you very much. Our people will appreciate it. Please visit us if you ever need any more help. Thank you, Your Grace. Hello, said Donnie. What are you doing, pumpkin? You said I can't have a cat, so I got myself a different pet. I never said you couldn't have a cat, just not Lorsulia's one. I had a snail. Fantastic. I found him in the gardens, and I call him Smudges. That's an unusual pet and an original name. He's nice, but he's not a cat. He's all slimy and sticky. Kind of gross. That's the best replacement i found so far. Maybe if Lorsulia didn't have to leave, I could. she could help me do something better. 
I see what you're trying to do here. I don't, don't, I don't think your tricks are going to work. Lucilia has to leave. She will marry Evo, and with that, she will have to stay with him, support him. So there's no way. There's no way. I think we could love. We would love it in the council chamber, Father. Where? When can I go back there? You mean the snail? What? It was it Smeary? It's Smudge. Oh my God! <laughs> she shook the whole fucking castle. It's not that hard, Father. He smudges. That's why. Yes, yes, Smudge. I'm afraid he won't be able to go to the council chamber for a while, though. King Talius is in there until the wedding ceremony. Besides, I didn't. I did tell you not to play in there, didn't I? Yes, Father. Thank you. I'm gonna probably have to go check on that. All right. Um, peasant. Hello. Your grace, I have a small favor that. Teeny tiny. Would you happen to have a spear of gold? One piece of gold is all I ask for. That way, <laughs> I can get myself some boost. Uh, some boost, of course. So, what is he saying? New boots, you say. One gold. Fine. It better be boots. Of course. What else? Thank you, your grace. One gold for boots. Fuck it. Your grace, my village has been raided by bandits. Let me guess. There's monsters in the banners. No, not at all. Locals. For sure, they were armed. We, our food supplies and cattle are stolen. We'd be greatly appreciate your, your support. This is all I can afford. I can give you seven sacks of supplies. I hope this will compensate your losses. There should be more than enough. We oblige your... Sounds like Redovia has copycats of sorts. Other bandits can now get away with their crimes more easily. They know the blame will fall on the Redovians and hope we won't look for them. Things will settle down after the wedding, I'm sure, Your Grace. Merchant, hello. Your Grace, I've been robbed. I was on my way to Hagos with a bunch of thugs threatening my life. I didn't give them all my goods. Now I'm left with nothing and nowhere to go. Is there a chance I can count on your support? Are you trying to fool me? No, your grace, I'm telling the truth. It was a Rodovian barbarians. You will spend some time in our dungeons. We should let Lady Ada know we have found the wrongdoer. Allies. We will send her a letter. Send the general, confirm. Alright. Awesome. So, that's all taken care of. Your grace, I really don't understand why am I here. You don't think I know your dirty tricks? Lady Ada told me what you did. Oh, Lady Ada, I didn't realize you knew each other. Huh. How can I help, Your Grace? I'm just looking around. Is that the only reason I need to come here was for that? <laughs> okay. Darling, how are the wedding preparations going? Has Lord Sulia spoken to you at all? She hasn't. I'm very worried about her. She hasn't eaten anything for the past few days. I hope she'll forgive us for this one day. I'll see you later, my darling. Bada boomskies. The North Post was crawling with Rodovian scrum, Your Grace. We managed to dispatch most of them. With the Rodovian Post gone, I think we're ready for the wedding, Your Grace. Fantastic. Hello, Lady Adva. Your Grace, you called me. Remind me, what are the th I have found your thief. I have put the man in the dungeons where he belongs. Your Grace, if I may, can I take him with me? Of course, you can do whatever you desire with him. Don't worry, Your Grace, I'll show him where his place is. And of course, you can count on my help during your upcoming battle. I don't have much to offer, but it's better than nothing. I'm glad we became allies, Lady Ada. It's good to have you on, on our side. It's my pleasure. That is all. 60 soldiers! Thank you for now. Let me know if you need anything. Thank you, Lady Ada. What's going on, Pietro? Your Grace. I'm starting to think that perhaps you are involved. What am I saying? Why would I say this? Why would you tell someone you know what they know? I better leave. I can leave right now. Lorsulia, Father, Lucilia, you finally came out. Can you please come and meet me at the wall when you get a chance? I wanted to talk to you. Of course, I will see you there. Hello, peasant lady. Your grace, I came here to ask for your help. My father is very sick and fever. Please help me. He is pale as a ghost and has the shakes and sweats all the time. We tried thre tried treating the fever with cold water and poultice of butter, onion, and garlic. We've given him a concoction of warm wood and mint. He gads. We even tried letting the bad blood with leeches. I'm afraid he might not last another night. Your grace, if we had a court which available, she could have handled these diseases. That's true. We should put word out that we're looking for one. As for your father, try looking for a healer near the first. I think a healer will be able to provide better help than I could. Don't you think I've tried that already? I would have come here otherwise. To hell with it. That crazy old witch from the forest is my best bet now. Fuck. Fuck. She's gonna go see a witch. God damn it. Hello, Larsulia. How are you? Oh, it's you. You wanted to see me? 
I'm sorry I shouted at you, Father. I didn't mean it when I called you stupid. I just wish things were different. I just wish I'd spent the past couple of days being with you, not angry at you. I know, darling. I know. I love you, Father. I love you, too. I love you more than anything in the world, Luli. I know. You hate it when I call you that, but you're still my Luli. It's all right, Papa. I miss when you used to call me Luli. Your mother was preparing one hell of a wedding. Yes, I'd better get ready before she finds me. I'll see you at the party. All right, let's go to the council chamber. Hopefully our daughter isn't there with a snail. Oh, thank God. How is your wife? I haven't seen Paloma in years. Does her illness persist? Why are you so curious about her? Yes, she is still sick. Otherwise, I wouldn't even be here. But like I told you already, it's none of your business. How is Evo? I'd like to know a little bit about your son before you know the marriage. What is there to say? Evo has royal blood, and I pay enough for his masters to ensure that he is at least half as smart as I am. Can't you just leave me alone, Eric? I'm trying to focus here. Did you find anything yet? Healing fever. How to prevent dysentery. Something about malaria. All of these are useless. Oh, well, it's going to be quite a party either way. I'll see you later. Yes, very well. I'll be in the throne room if you need me. Ready as much as you like. He gave me his men, but he's a bit of an asshole. Hopefully he doesn't betray us in the end. Alright, guys. I think we're going to go ahead and start next week. Get out of here. I think we're going to go ahead and start ne next week and the next episode, guys. So that's going to be it for me and this episode of Yes, Your Grace. I know it's a bit longer, and it's probably just a lot of me talking over what they're already saying. But there's not a lot to this game in terms of action. But it is a very interesting game, and I would love to see it as a series on this channel. And if you would, too, go ahead and hit the like button down below, and let me know in the comment sections as well. Link in the description to all of my social medias, including my Discord server if you want to join me there, and my Twitch, where I stream games you don't get to see on YouTube, so you should definitely follow me there. But that will be it for me, guys. As always, I hope you enjoyed, and I appreciate it. Bye.